able to see this is just a super capacitor for cells each will give 1.5 volt so it is giving more than 6 volt able to see it is running just like a battery it is running so this one is attached with the regular batteries may be let us say it, it may be lithium or nickel cadmium batteries whatever batteries you just attach it it will just prolong the shelf life of the battery so one charge is enough the other other things it, this will look after once it gets generated the output voltage once enter into this uh, super capacitor this will run the motor so it can give long mileage a single charge instead of 100 miles it can go more than 1000 miles per charge okay friends this is called super capacitor so still running to prepare the super capacitor so i taken as said before eight carbon rods so each carbon rod for a one one section and one carbon rod i am filling with the metal oxide mostly carbon plus uh, graphite plus manganese dioxide then traces of lead and cobalt similarly i have done for these other uh, sections so totally i am going to make four super capacitors each will be uh, as per my estimation it will be around 1.6 to 1.7 volt it will be giving so i am going to put it in series so ultimately i'll see what will be the output of voltage and amperes this is only trial i am showing all in front of you able to see carbon rod same carbon rod filled with carbon graphite and manganese dioxide this is how i prepared this is just a foam sheet I pierced for this carbon rods to come out then I will slowly insert like this like this I am going to insert are you able to see ok so similarly I will doing for all these three the electrolyte will be zinc chloride you can prepare whatever strength you like it may be 3 molar or 5 molar zinc chloride in aqueous base that will be the best electrolyte once you fill it this will become a super capacitor if you charge it then you can see the the output it is very instant chargeable that is why it is called a super capacitor this will replace most of the burden of the battery so it will uh, increase the shelf life of the battery if i estimate roughly more than 10 times the shelf life of the battery so we can go for longer distance using the electrical vehicles whatever it may be it may be two wheeler or four wheelers if you link the battery in parallel with these super capacitors these super capacitors will do the job of the battery on long run it will charge itself it will give the whatever charge it will give to the motor bldc motor okay individual cells no i have surrounded with the some uh, filter barriers are there so that in between the negative positive it should not discharge that is why i have covered with the uh, asbestos filter bags papers so similarly are done for all the four chambers now we have to fill the electrolyte and charge it and see what is the volt it generates in current now friends now i assembled all the the super capacitor cells without the electrolyte no electrolyte is there i have arranged all these wires and all just for curiosity we will connect it and see what is the volt no discharge is there no discharge is there no discharge no discharge is there so no discharge ok so we have made all this ready now we will what we will do is we will start adding the electrolyte what is electrolyte this is the electrolyte 2 molar zinc chloride that is 42 grams of zinc chloride dissolved in 150 ml of distilled water this I am going to add in each of these cells by, add, by taking 25 ml I will be pouring it first I will add 25 ml to each one so I have taken 25 ml and I am going to pour it So seems to consume 
more number of thing electrolyte light volume is, is still more required so again i will put some 15 ml i will put 15 ml so 25 plus 15 nearly 50 ml i have added this is more than enough so we have added to this cell we able to see let it get saturated we will see what will the voltage it generates being super capacitors there will not be any voltage there will be some small voltage will be there you able to see no voltage so we will do one thing we will charge it and see so through external dc i am going to supply 5 volt and 1 amps i am going to connect it i am connecting 5 volt and 1 amps little saturation also required no being new cells no everything has to be weighted properly with this electrolyte now we are charged it we we'll see what is it has gained able to see it is 1.5 if i ch still give a small charging you can see it will boost to nearly 2, two volt just i am keeping in front of you i am doing it i am charging with 5 volt 1 amps after saturation you can see it will even rise to 2 volt we will see what is the volt it has generated it has gained so 1.7 1.69 so we will see what is the amps it has gained current now I placed in milliamperes we will see what is the amp, milliamperes it has gained so 184 177 okay friends this is for the single super capacitor cell so this similarly i'm going to add this electrolyte in the other three cells and we'll make it a serial connection and see what is the total output voltage okay now i added all the electrolytes to all the cells almost half of filled you are able to see half of filled not fully if it is fully filled it will be still better but i have limited electrolytes so half of field i have done able to see now we will start charging for every single cells we will start charging it just all in front of you i am doing i am charging it so first cell i am charging it with 5 volt and 1 amps Similarly, this also will charge it. So, 1.46, 1.57. This is all just uh, 1 or 2 minutes I have charged. That is all in front of you I am charging it. 1.5. This we will see how much charges. 1.59, 1.6. So, you can see each cell is you now giving at least 1.5 minimum. We will directly connect it to this for charging this super capacitor. So, this will help you in running the BLDC motor. So, battery can be become idle after long run, it will become idle. So, this super capacitor will do that job, that is the advantage. They can undergo a lot of cycles because only carbon carbon it is so there is no metal electrodes so carbon are very good they can withstand alkalis they can withstand these ionic electrodes electrolytes this negative with the positive just to see what is the jump it can give so again this negative with this positive then this negative with this positive so we have interconnected so that is left out is only one positive and one negative we will see what is the 
volt it generates the final volt am i able to see in front of you 6.3 6.3 is the volt it is able to give so 1.5 into 4 you can see the motor running I can attach directly, you can see the motor running. Beautiful it is, I will just show you. You can see. Just a super capacitor, it is not a cell. Because both are carbon electrodes, I have just given electrolyte zinc chloride. After charging, you can see. So this kind of super capacitor, once attached in series, I mean parallel with the battery, this will look after the performance of the motor. You can just run the vehicle, whether it is two wheeler or four wheeler. The battery life will be just prolonged ten times, ten to times. So uh, instead of hundred miles, you can go even one thousand miles for one charging. Okay friends, if you like this, kindly press the like button, you can pass your comments, please subscribe. So in front of you I have done this, this is called super capacitor. So after running even, it is now 5.8, so if you start in cycle charging it will go more than 7 volt if I am right it will go more than 7 volt to 8 volt even the amperes it will improve because this is just initial gets saturated with the zinc chloride it is a very best on super capacitor you so I have prepared in front of you so only carbon zinc chloride and the other things are all that is uh, what you call the filters that's all friends Thank you. Please subscribe, pass your comments. I'll be happy. Thank you.